What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Go back to another video and in today's video um, we are with the 135 and uh, the only air this car has honestly because of these aftermarket turn signals for some reason this car is just throwing an air for the aftermarket turn signals it is never done with any like all my other cars that never actually had issues with those turn signals but on this one there is so so i'm gonna go ahead and call up nick real quick and just see if he's free right now he lives in pennsylvania i'm gonna go see if he's free to just uh go over the computer and just connect and help me go ahead and just code out this issue or whatever it is um let's just see if nick's on the phone right now um hey yo nick you there you oh, <laughs> I mean, that's some amazing service. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> nice to meet you, bro. So I, Nick has been here the last couple of days. We've been just kind of chilling like villains. I don't even know if that take really went well or not. But um, first time meeting him in like, how long has it been since we known each other? Couple years. Like five years, right? I feel like it's been so long, like five years or something like that. So the first time I actually meeting Nick in person, he actually got a job somewhere closer. So he's not across the United States and he came down here to visit. So he's supposed to shout out to him. Um, so uh, we'll, get, we'll get into all the details later with the i8 and talk about Nick and all that stuff and how he saved me a bunch of money and how he actually technically saved my life and my career. But any hizzles, for now, let's go ahead and just code out the situation with the 135 because it's getting really annoying. And the other, oh, I can't see the other Nick. And the guy that's gonna get the 135 is gonna be super happy once this air is gone. All right. So at this point, guys, we have the computer hooked up. What are you doing, my guy? So, a common misconception is that you need some 10-year-old Windows XP laptop to code. This is a 2020 M1 MacBook running Windows 10 on a virtual machine. You can use any modern Windows laptop made in the past 10 years to do this. Um, you could use a, a brand new laptop or one of like high specs. A lot of this software was made like 15 years ago and can run an absolute poop poop of a computer. <laughs> uh, so, Noor's having an issue where his uh, LED side markers are throwing an error. This one specifically. Because the LEDs do not draw uh, enough a lot of current on like a send an incandescent bulb. So with this software, this is free. You can get this software on uh, beamergeeks.net. You can get a coding cable from them and they have the software link downloaded and it's very easy to install. There's like a little text document. You just follow it and it'll and you can install it. Um, it's not terribly difficult to install and it's not terribly difficult to use. And generally like if you're making a modification to a module, you want to go to file, load profile, and then manipulation. You hit OK, you hit start, chassis, and then this is a little confusing for some people. So you see like if you have an E60, you just hit that. But if you look, there's no E90, E92, or E82, but this is actually the main chassis code for both the 1 Series and the E9X part. So you just hit this. Um, it's going to read it from all the information off the cast module. So you have the car's VIN and then the start of your vehicle order. All you have to do is go back, process ECU, and then we're gonna make modifications to the FRM. This car is an LCI car, so it has an NFRM. Earlier E90s will have an uh, FRM, but newer ones made past uh, 03, 2007 with the NFRM, you hit OK. I'm gonna hit read ECU. We get anything past 2007. Uh, Three. The third month of 2007. Oh, that's okay. Very nice. This. So it'll read. This module is actually a pretty big module. So this is this is all like the the data. Well, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Neither will I ever. <laughs> and there's a nice software. So if you note down, this is the uh, the firmware version of the effort. You have an FRM2 E89C09. There's a nice program, and part of the package is called NCS Dummy. Because I'm an idiot, and so I, I need this uh, dummy software. It makes it easy. Once again, you hit the chassis code, and these are all the chassis that support under the 89 chassis code. Go to module, just scroll down to the FRM, FRM2 E89C09, and then you can load file, load your, your F, SW, PSW, TRC, and that's the file that the software pulled from the module and then you can hit control F and you can search through the module what you want to do and there's translations because I don't know what the hell that means but I know what this means so you can scroll down here and make the uh, modification that you need to, to do. 
Cool, cool. So yeah, Nick is saying that he's not smart and this is for basics and he uses a dummy conversion. No, this actually uses a lot of brain power. I mean, huh? No, 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 like it, it's not, like if you look at it, it's not like when you think of coding, you think of like HTML or something like creating a website from a code. Now, obviously in terms of BMWs and once you actually get all the software and everything downloaded, it's basically just knowing where to go and what to click. It's not like you're actually typing in actual coding or anything like that. But anywho, I'm just super happy he's actually here. I've been having a good time. It's been a long time. I mean, Nick has been helping me with just my first BMW on the channel. And it's just crazy that he's in my garage right now after five years. Like literally anything can happen in life. It's crazy. Now, obviously the title of this video basically states how Nick actually saved me $10,000. And I think even more than that, I wouldn't have the i8, I wouldn't have the M5. I want to be able to diagnose any of my cars. Even this car right here, the 135, the wires were repinned on the ECU, the actual computer. He was actually repinned, and that's why I kept on throwing the O2 codes. Even though we placed the O2 sensors, the cats, everything, he was still throwing the code. And he figured out it was the wiring, and he told me exactly which wires to repin. Without this guy, honestly, he's been saving me a lot of time, a lot of money, and he's just been a huge contribution to the channel. So, huge shout out to Nick. He's also a very great friend, so I'm very grateful for him. But yeah, at this point, guys, uh, enough talking about coding, enough stuff like that. Shout out to Nick for everything he's done. I'm so happy he's here. Let's go have some fun. Yeah, no, I got it. Are you guys good over here? Revving your Kia Soul? <laughs> you good? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Nick's face. <laughs> Alright, let's head out. We are heading down to Habit, guys, so uh, let's get some uh, some good food. Made it to the Habit Grill. This is uh, Nick's first yeah. time eating Habit. Been here. <laughs> bro, this place is so good. It's gotta be so good, bro. If you, do you like In-N-Out? The fries were a bit cardboard. Bro, their fries? Do you like ranch? Uh, not really. Oh. Okay, do you like honey mustard? Yeah. Okay, bro, he's gonna, he's gonna love it. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Guys, what a fail. <laughs> Dropped in the salad at a burger place. <laughs> I was supposed to record the meal and all, but then uh, I think we just demolished it. We were just too hungry. So, it is what it is. We'll catch you guys at the house. Stuff. I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, big boy? I'm full. I know, dude. It's rough. It's rough out here. <laughs> Nick is over here getting potty trained. Oh, no, he's right over there. I can see him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we are heading back to the house right now. I'm probably just gonna play some Switch. I don't know if you guys ever play the Switch, but it's honestly probably the best like game console to play when you guys have friends over. Um, you guys are learning a lot about me when I'm not actually uh, working on cars, but you know, we got a guest over, just gotta chill, so. Why are you filming all the time? It's life. <laughs> Guys, so we got the Switch already. We got Super Smash Brothers. We got you Johnny. Have Kirby this time. You have I have to Kirby. Kirby. No huh? Kirby for you. Who's your favorite character? I don't know. It seems like everyone's winning with Meta Knight, but. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, let's go ahead. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and chill for the rest of the day, guys. But before we actually get into the game, I'm just gonna talk about just a little bit about the man, the myth, the legend. Oh my. <laughs> so how do you do it? How? how why why did you help me five years ago when my car broke down and I was some random dude across the United States? I saw your video and it triggered me to the point where I emailed you <laughs> so I could fix it. So I wouldn't be triggered right. when I watched the video and it worked. And I respect that. For those of you guys who get triggered about the things I do in my videos, at least reach out and try to help me instead of just talking, sh you know, baloney schmoney. Like I hate, like when, whenever I'm doing something wrong or something's wrong in my life and no one tells me about it, how are you supposed to correct yourself? I always look out for the people in, in my life that tell me, hey Nick, if you're doing something wrong, fix it. And that's how I become a better person. And I appreciate you for that. And like I said, guys, honestly, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for this dude. But anyhow, we're just gonna go ahead and move forward with our lives and uh, enjoy some Super Smash Brothers. This is his last, you're heading back tomorrow, right? Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. So we're just gonna go ahead and just chill, play some games, you know, do that stuff, just enjoy the time we have. He's got a huge work event that he's gonna be heading back to, so it might be a little bit before we actually see each other again, right? Yep, Monday's my first uh, day of, of my day. big boy job. <laughs> So without further ado, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.